I'm Mel and today I actually want to do kind of the first video in a new little little series on my channel. So something I've always really enjoyed doing um, over here is actually taking part in tea ceremonies. So I've actually done a couple while I've been living in Japan and one of the things that never fails to amaze me is just the amazingly varied and huge array of um, the sweets and snacks that you can actually get while that are kind of a part of the tea ceremony. Um, so what I really want to do in this series is kind of um, share a couple of the different types um, with you guys because they're honestly they can be so beautifully made, um, they're so elegant and so delicate and they're just I think a really really interesting part of Japanese culture which I thought would be really nice to show you guys um, and kind of go just beyond the plain like mochi um, or dango so there's like a heap of different types and I really want to kind of share those with you guys. Alright so for today I wanted to do something that's a little bit seasonal so generally kind of late winter early spring we're not quite there yet um, strawberries are a very big seasonal kind of fruit and kind of produce and I think with wagashi and the like Japanese traditional sweets um, like seasonal produce and kind of taking in those seasons into like the design of the um, the wagashi or the higashi is very very popular and it's a very like strong theme throughout. So one of the very very popular um, wagashi of this type of this kind of season is called Ichigo Daifuku Mochi. Um, so yeah I've actually got one here you go. So yeah so this is so this is Ichigo Daifuku Mochi. So Daifuku Mochi is actually probably one of the more like common and popular um, kind of types of wagashi that you'll find. It's pretty much sold a lot of places and a lot of times you'll see it with like the traditional like uncle kind of filling. Daifuku mochi, which Ichigo mochi is kind of like a sub category of, I don't know, something like that. Um, so Daifuku mochi, they've actually changed the kanji for it a few times. So originally um, it had Daifuku, so big belly mochi. And this kind of came from the idea that it's a type of mochi which is usually stuffed. So usually it's like uncle, so like red bean paste, kind of covered by like a shell of mochi. Um, so this actually changed eventually because Daifuku can also mean um, great luck. And so it's also said, kind of thought to be a very lucky kind of sweet too, and often given like at offerings for different events and at shrines and things like this. So Ichigo Daifuku Mochi is kind of like a variant on this traditional Daifuku Mochi kind of thing. Um, wherein instead of just having just plain uncle, you'll actually usually have a fresh strawberry um, kind of in the middle of the uncle, surrounded by the mochi. So I just wanted to show you guys, I've kind of broken this little one open. So inside you can see we've got the uncle, so the red bean paste. This one actually has some cream in it as well. It's also very popular with the Ichigo Daifuku Mochi um, just because it's a strawberry, it goes really well with it. But then you can also see that inside there is a fresh strawberry. So as I said, this is a very, very seasonal kind of um, wagashi. Um, it's yeah, it's very popular and you'll probably see it at a lot of different like sweet stores. Um, a lot of your department stores will sell them, your convenies, even your supermarkets, you'll see these everywhere. And they're a really popular treat to make. So um, yeah, let's, I guess, do a taste test. I know that I can get strawberry in this one. Dun -dun -dun. So yeah, it's supposed to be very good because it's got the fresh strawberry with the mochi and I'm making a mess of this entirely. Eh, eh. Okay, let's do this. I've just kind of killed this and I'm probably gonna eat all of this. <laughs> okay, uh, eat that mouth. So, so the, the sweetness really comes a little bit from the cream, but very much from the uncle. And if you've ever had like uncle or a bean paste or something like that, you know it's kind of like a different kind of sweetness. It's not like that real sugary sweet. Um, 
and with the strawberry and like the mochi it's just it's a really beautiful combination and you know if you're in Japan at this time of year um, definitely try it like I think sometimes it can be a little bit scary to try um, some more of a traditional sweets because you may not understand some of the ingredients or know what's inside but on the whole I don't think I've ever actually had a bad one <laughs> um, and they're just something that's really different and a really different taste for you trying a different experience um, so yeah the Ichigo Daifuku Mochi um, definitely give it a go if you're in Japan and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick first video of a new series as it'll be something interesting and it gives me an excuse to try a heap of different Japanese logashi, which I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've tried Ichigo Daifuku Mochi. I'm curious to see whether you guys liked it or hated it or what. Um, and yeah, as always, I will see you guys very, very soon. I will see you later, bye.